For our next adventure, we explore a farm stay called Odia in a sneeze and you miss it town called Kaelin. So we made it to Oh Dear Farm Stay and we are in relaxation, quiet, peaceful heaven. It is so nice. We are surrounded by cane fields. We're sitting under a tree just doing a little bit of work because there is 4G here, which is great. And this is our setup over here. So yeah, we are in for a relaxed, chill day. We got to head into Marion, which is about 30 minutes away, just to resupply, restock up, because we are on our last legs of food. Um, and I'm doing washing, because there's amenities here. There's showers, toilets, washing machine. So, Yay, the showers! <laughs> Considering there were no showers at Camilla Beach, so we were doing bush showers there. But um, yeah, we're super excited to be um, a little bit more closer to, closer to amenities. So yeah, we're taking full advantage of the washing machines today and um, just relaxing and enjoying the place. You loving it, baby? Mm-hmm. You can go on a cane farm tour later. We are, we're gonna look at doing a cane farm tour a little bit later this week. And Jaden's really excited for... Pancake day! Sunday's pancake day. Just chewing it. What does it taste like? A bit like apple. A bit like apple? Nah, it doesn't taste like apple. It's sweeter. It does taste like apple. Sweet apple. <laughs> it's sweet apple. It's sweet apple. Line up here with them right? so I can get a photo. What's it taste like? <laughs> you, need right. to eat, you need to eat the bad bit on the top and then you start to get a good bit at the bottom. What's it taste like, bro? Right? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. too Right. <laughs> what does it taste like, baby? It tastes like roast beef with a boo in it. That's interesting. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, hey guys. Today we're at uh, the Oh Deer Farm Stay. That's um, what it's about, maybe an hour outside of Mackay, north of Mackay. It's maybe uh, another 45 minutes south of. Pine, which is near Alley Beach um, so if you guys are headed up this way or, or down this way depending on where you are I really encourage you to check it out because um, um, Corinda and uh, and the guys that run the show here are uh, uh, absolutely top-notch they're um, yeah they're, we've been treated really really well um, it's almost like they they treat you like part of the family because uh, the bit that you actually stay in is right up around the house. Um, they usually put on um, a campfire most nights and um, and you sit around and have a couple of drinks and everybody comes in. It's a nice nice sort of family feel, which you, uh, you don't tend to get with a lot of, well, I, I, I haven't been in a caravan park where you get that kind of feel, so. Um, it is one of the one of the best places we've we've stayed um, So I definitely encourage people to come and have a have a look and check it out. Uh, they also do 
cane farm tours so we've got plenty of sugar cane <laughs> um, yeah so they do cane farm tours and uh, both Corinda and Dale are very passionate about what it is that they do and the farming and the ag agricultural industry in Australia so definitely come and check it out It's not as sweet as what I thought it would be. No, but it's pure. Yeah. It's not like what you buy, hey? Mm. Totally different. <laughs> you can see why I decided It's to very do earthly. Oh, yeah. Very earthly. Mm. Mm. Earthly. Yeah, very sweet. Mm. Yeah. It should be sweet because it's sugar. Good on you. Do now? Pick some strawberries. Pick some strawberries. Pick some strawberries? Do we love strawberries? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, let's go pick some strawberries. Think, no. <laughs> I love like blueberries the most. We should have done it this morning, uh, yesterday, so then we could have had some fresh strawberries on our pancakes this morning. That's all right. Let's go get <laughs> some strawberries. Such a beautiful place. Giant sunflowers. <laughs> this place is so cool. Hey, oh my gosh, look how big that sunflower is. Look how big that is. It's massive. It's 
huge. There's blueberry bushes. Blueberry. Don't touch them. Blueberry bush. Are you picking your strawberries? Yeah. And seeing how fun. seeing how strawberries and blueberries are grown. Yeah, that's really cool. What was that? It's really cool picking strawberries that are really ripe. Did you enjoy blueberry. picking strawberries, honey? Yeah, definitely. Is that how you thought a blueberry grew on a tree? Mm -hmm. How did you think they grew? I thought the strawberries were like the blueberries and the blueberries were like the strawberries. Ah, there we go. Although I think I, think I might have gotten confused between the blueberry and the blackberry. Oh, okay. And did you enjoy your strawberry ice cream? Oh, amazing. It had strawberry pieces in it, didn't it? Yeah, frozen ones. <laughs> This is a billet. Sometimes they're a bit shorter. This is basically what they send to the factory. See how these are all still white? What happens is as soon as that there'll be one coming out there somewhere, as soon as it hits the atmosphere it'll turn green. Just like this. There'll be a whole line of them all the way down there. Just starting. Yep. Yeah, wow. It's just starting. So, 
we'd probably be and give it another 10 days and I'll start to see the green coming up. Start to see it sprouting. Yeah. season, also known as the crush, only runs for six months of the year from June till late November. Once the crush starts, it's non-stop for the trains and trucks that cart the sugar cane to the mills. There needs to be cane at the mills to run the furnaces 24 hours a day. For the cane farmers that don't have access to a train line, they load their sugar cane at what they call false sidings. First, the truckies load empty train crates onto trucks. Then they fill them from the harvesting truck. Once the train crates are full, then the truckie loads the full crates back onto their trucks and drives them back off to the mill and the process starts all over again. It was so interesting listening to Corinda tell us all about this process and how it all works. If you ever find yourself staying at Odeer Farmstay, we highly recommend you book the sugarcane tour. <laughs> That's some drool.
how people from the bush do their signage on their cars for their socials. <laughs> yeah, branded. we're branded until we wash the car. <laughs> so we're heading off, um, had a fantastic stay at um, Oh Deer Farm Stay. We're all packed up to the hilt again. We're gonna be leaving this gorgeous view and head towards the beach. We're off to Bingo Beach. Excited, babe? Excited, kids? Yeah! Yes! We're excited. <laughs>